so I am in my room. Uh, I have to take. I already worked out here. Let me clean this. Um, I already worked out. So uh, the workout footage that you're about to see after this clip is going to be for the one I just did, and it was deadlifts with some back and shoulders as well. So uh, what's going to happen right now is I'm going to show you guys. There's new products on the site. Uh, there's a uh, my favorite shirt I think uh, favorite a7 shirt just dropped I really like the white on white and the black on black it looks really clean to me it has the black on black bar grip and now they have white on white so if you can see that white on white bar grip they also have the gnarly bear that's what they're calling it uh, on there in mint green which, is, which looks awesome as well they have a couple tank tops on there so Go ahead and grab whatever you want, check it out. As always, my discount code is A7Andre. I'm going to, right now, be taking some promo shots for the site, and I don't know if they're gonna use any of them, but they asked us to, uh, Jason, Patricia, and some other people on the team asked us, oh, I can't talk, asked us to take some pictures for the site, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And, uh, yeah, gonna get my tripod, my automatic shutter automatic shutter and get these done. I just wore this meat shirt to deadlift and it's all sweaty right now but I'm gonna go ahead and wear it and I already showered so I already showered I'm clean but I'm gonna go ahead and wear it for these pictures right now and uh, just get them for you guys. Hopefully you'll see me on the site. I made it to the hold on. I made it onto the newsletter, so I'm gonna figure out how to send these uh, to people on my people that I know on my on my email list. So right here, Summer Styles. There's the gnarly bear. Uh, what's that? Diamond. That's what it's that's what it's called. The white on white is called diamond, and then another gnarly bear on the mint. So that is cool. All right, so the place that I initially wanted to do the shoots at, the, the pictures, uh, they didn't really work out, it's too dark. So I found this corner in my building. So this corner is right here. I'm gonna be standing right there. I need a flash, but I use this lamp for a flash, and then I'm gonna have this tripod right here. So I'm gonna rock the other designs, but right now I'm wearing the mint. If you guys wanna see the back, there's the back, there's the mint, there's the bar grip, there's everything. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna send this into the group me and be like, um, ghetto college dorm room photography setup or nah. <laughs> but all right, I'm gonna get these done. I'm gonna go eat after this and then uh, work on a project. Right now, I'm showing you guys my or Julia's PR attempts for sumo. So this was 235 pounds, uh, which was a P sumo, blah, blah, sumo PR. I still can't talk. I'm sorry, but sumo PR. But here she wanted to get 250, which was the goal for the day. So that is what she went for, and she totally destroyed it. I told her that she shot her hips up too far because her hips are like as high as when she locked out so she has to work on that anyway here are my deadlifts i did uh this was a my last warm-up set before my top set this was 435 pounds and this felt incredibly hard i just don't think uh, I'm, I'm used to the movement yet and nothing is everything isn't firing the way i want it to be, be uh, or the way i want it to fire so here is 475 70 pounds the way that 435 moved very slowly, uh, this did not look like that at all. Everything was firing correctly here. I just really got into the zone and ripped them off the ground. So these felt very good. I kind of held it at the top for some reason. I don't know why. But ever since I started doing sumos again, my neck has been killing me. Like on the left side of my neck on the inside, it has just been cramping. And every time I talk, like it just tightens up. So... Hopefully it'll be better by tomorrow or the next day, but right now it's just killing me. I don't know why, but I think it's just because I haven't done deadlifts in a long time and my neck kind of pulls, maybe. <laughs> 
which is really weird but here's some of my accessory movements I am doing I'm coupling shoulders and back on my deadlift days this just works out for my splits as a whole oh my gosh that guy in the back um okay <laughs> it just works out for my split uh, and my current goals for uh, my strength and uh, aesthetic wise so we have been doing this movement for weeks and weeks now it is the behind the neck ne behind the neck smith machine press and i like it because i don't have to stabilize the weight i don't have to think about stabilizing the weight it's just literally all squeezing the deltoid so i know i've said this before but try this at your local gym you will not be disappointed that is all the footage i have for this video and i will see y'all in the next one Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.